Hi, my dear friends. I am Grandma Sandy, if you don't already know who I am, and we're going to talk about my favorite place to go for family time. And we've been coming up here for probably close to 40 years, if you can believe it. And we have not been sorry that we bought into this camp membership. Now, not camp memberships are not for everybody, so I'm not trying to get anyone to buy anything. I just want to give people information. These type of camps are across the whole United States. Some are nicer than others. And I feel that Mountain Lakes is probably one of the nicer ones in our area. There's another one that is nicer than this one, but it's farther for me to drive. This one's about 25 minutes from my house and I can drive up for the day with the grandkids or great grandkids and it's no hassle. Pack a picnic lunch and we're there for the day. Now, if you're a member, there is no cost for coming in for day visits. If you're camping with a tent, there's still no charge for that either. So it's a pretty inexpensive way once you pay for the membership itself. You do have to pay a yearly association fee but keep in mind they have to have money to keep the camp going keeping it clean keeping it neat they have security here and um, everything is well maintained and you really don't have to worry and be stressing out about problems because they don't put up with too much problems so this is a great place to take the family get out and get up where it's a little cooler and have everybody have fun and I don't have to tell the grandchildren when they were little or the great-grandkids, oh, don't touch that, don't touch that, because we're up there to have fun. They can run around, make noise. They're not really going to be bothering anybody, and it's a great, great investment, and that's how I feel. That's why we purchased this camp membership. We've been coming up here for almost 40 years, and for us, it was a great investment. We bought this membership originally secondhand off of someone that had original membership. They advertise you can sell them and it is true because that's how we bought our original membership after we had it probably like um, 20 years uh, they had offered the legacy membership that's what we have now it's an upgrade and that's to the cabins up on the hill and as you can see these cabins have a view because you're up on a hill and look over this camp you can see the water park from here you can see the lakes from here the adult center and how beautiful it is. It's a lot quieter up on the hill also. So I am really happy that we had spent the extra money for it. And it's been a great way to get out with the family. And have a great time. And not be worried about the kids making noise. And there is a time limit on noise. I should mention this. It's quiet time after 10. So you can't party all night. But it's a great investment, and I feel like we really got our money worth out of this since we are still coming up here. My children no longer hardly come up. They're sort of tired of it. They've been coming so all their lives. Well, I shouldn't say all, all, ever since they were teenagers. And now it's time for the grandkids. And they are the ones that come up with their children now, and their children love coming up here. This is the highlight of their day. With the great thing about a camp membership over a condo is you can come up every single day, drive up. There's no limit on it. You can only stay two weeks at a time and then you have to leave for a couple weeks and you can come back. So even that's a great investment. Now, we've never owned a motorhome. We've never owned a trailer. All we've ever had is a tent at the most and we don't even use that anymore. We usually just go up, rent a cabin. As you can see, the cabins are fully furnished and have everything you can possibly need. And you can see Grandpa's having a great time on the porch. And it's a great place to bring friends and family. The cabin is not overly big, but it's very compact and very well organized. You can see there is a loft at the top that you can stay in and sleep. The loft will sleep at least six to eight small children with no trouble. It's quite large and there's mats up there for them to sleep on. The kitchen is fully furnished with any pots and pans and dishes that you would need. Only thing I would say bring extra, bring a good can opener. Their can openers are not that good. There's an air conditioner in the living room and a flat screen TV. The couch makes into a bed for two and there is a bedroom in this cabin and it also is a queen size bed and it will also sleep at least two in there and you have an air conditioner to stay cool in the summer. 
these cabins stay perfectly warm all winter. I usually have to turn the heater off and they are really comfortable to be in. These cabins rent for $120 a night. Now keep in mind, these prices could go up because everything is going up, but still it's cheaper than renting a hotel room. And if you rent for the whole week, you get it for half price. So it's a pretty big bargain, I think. It's plenty big. And outside there is a gas barbecue and there's two tables to set and there's enough room for a tent set up or a motorhome to come along. So you could have the family up here being very, very comfortable and they have a great time. I'm gonna show you a short little video of my grandkids having a great time up here. And you tell me if it's worth the money. I think every penny I spend for this membership was worth my money. And even though I pay association every year, it's still worth it. Go, here, go play bubbles. Grandma's trying to get videos of you. Okay, yeah, do your bubbles together for Grandma can see it. Spin. Go next to your sister, more closer. Which way, that way? Okay, come on us down. Okay, go. No, that's the, that's okay, that the was other right. legacy cabin. Yeah. They bring you to the wrong spot. But you could just come back down and then it just brings you up this next hill. I had it. I got it down. Yeah, we <laughs> but you, you gotta realize she's still a kid and she's gotta learn. So you can't just take it away from her and then she's not gonna learn. Well, that's the time when she really needs to learn when she's in a situation where she gets, okay, take the time. These people can wait. They can, they can tell I'm learning. I'm guilty. I'm guilty too. I'm super guilty. You guys are having so much fun. Do you like coming up here? Yeah. Yeah. Now one's a little girl went in there, now they want to play in the water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at Brooke Lifer, she's underneath it. <laughs> Putting this video together not because I'm getting paid any money or any kind of reward for making the video. I am just a member of this camp for quite a few years and I'm letting you know that it's worth it and it's basically what they advertise. I think it's much better than a condo because you can use it as much as you want in reason. You can drive up every day if you want to use the facilities. I have done it and you can camp two weeks at a time and then you have to leave for a couple weeks and you can come back. Truthfully, I don't think you could have any more fun any cheaper than something like one of these camp memberships. I have really enjoyed it and there's a lot of things for the kids to do here and the best part of all is everything is included except I think fishing and if you want to eat in the restaurant or do laundry. Uh, but you know, I don't fish so it's not a big deal for me. And I do my laundry at home. And of course we do use the restaurant. But as you can see, I love this place. I talk about it a lot. I show you a lot of great family time here. And we're gonna show you other things this wonderful camp has more than what I'm sharing here now. It's worth every penny I have spent for it. And as you can see, there's plenty of places for the kids to play, run around and scream. And nothing is overcrowded as a rule. Like I said, the water park, 
right here is doing great. There's volleyball courts if you want to play volleyball. There's a beautiful place to sit around with tables, as you can see all around this area, umbrellas to keep you out of the sun, beautiful lounge chairs to set down. And you can see it's not overly crowded. There is, well, of course, it does get more crowded than this. I got here early for it wouldn't be a lot of people, but there's always a place to sit down. There's always a place to spend time with your family. And this is all included with a membership. You don't have to pay an extra fee to come in here and do anything. Once you pay your regular membership and your association for the year, you can come as much or as little as you want. As you can see by the building in the distance, there's a bathroom. There's plenty of nice, clean bathrooms through the whole property. You can always find a place to go to the bathroom. And you can see how nice the cabins up on the hill are. Those are the legacy cabins. And look at how big this property is. It is beautiful. There's always something to do. Well, next week, we'll have another installment of Mountain Lakes showing more activities that you can do here. Yes, I said more. There is more to see. This video would have been so long, nobody would get a chance to see how much things this camp offers. So do I think this is membership camps are worth it? Yes, I do. Are they for everybody? Of course not. You have to use them to make it worthwhile. I use mine all the time, and it's worth it for me and my family to buy this membership, keep it going, because we have a lot of fun family time together.